guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm bringing you another Let's Sip Sunday. And today, we're gonna be drinking White Claw Surges. Y'all, these right here, you can get fucked up. No, I'm just kidding, I never had one, but probably they're 8% alcohol volume and they come in blood orange flavor and cranberry flavor. And these just look so good. I saw the orange one first at my corner store and I was like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I picked up this one. I'm like, I should go back and get the cranberry one too. So I got both of these and I was looking on White Claw's website. Hold on, we gotta just back up a little bit. I was looking on White Claw's website to give y'all the deets about these new drinks. But White Claw has came out with iced tea. I know y'all see that. White Claw iced tea hard seltzer. Oh yeah, mango? Get it to it, yeah. Mango? Oh yeah, they already knew. They, they made that for me. That looks so good. They have mango, lemon, raspberry, what? raspberry, and peach. Those look so good. Have not seen those, but if I see them, I will definitely buy them and definitely do a review because <laughs> I love like iced tea and um, sweet tea. But today's video is about the surges. These ones right here. And these are the only two flavors they currently have, the cranberry and the blood orange. And so these are 8% alcohol volume. They come in a 16 ounce can. Yep, 16 ounce can. And it has two grams of sugar. And it says with 8% alcohol, White Claw hard, surge, hard Seltzer Surge is a bold new way to enjoy hard seltzer. Experience a stronger wave of refreshment today in two new flavors, cranberry and blood orange. My nose keeps itching, y'all. Lord help me. No, but these look really good. And does it have any other information? Let me see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all they say. Like they don't really give as much information as Truly did when Truly had when I did my Truly review. But I'm here today to let you guys know the tea and if you should try them. So I'm not gonna get cups and ice and stuff like that today because I'm sitting in my bed. And if the camera's shaky, that's probably why. Because I'm sitting on my bed and my tripod's like on my bed, and I have nowhere to put my drinks. Actually. I could put them on, I have my tripod on like a dinner tray. I could put the cups on the dinner tray. Now nah, that's too much work, I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna drink them out the can, okay? So here's these, I have two straws. You know, I got a pink one for the cranberry and an orange one for the blood orange. By the way, do you guys like my hair? Let's get into it, hold on. I know I did my makeup today and I did my hair today and I put on a little cute towel, a little cute outfit, you know? But yeah, I do like my hair. I haven't had braids in so long, so I feel cute. But yeah, so, okay, what should I try first, y'all? Should I try the blood orange or the cranberry? I always ask that, like, you guys can tell me through the screen, like, while I'm recording this. I'm gonna try the blood orange first, because I feel like this might have a similarity to, like, high C. That's kind of, like, what my hopes are with this. I dropped this one on the ground, so hopefully it doesn't, like, explode everywhere. Let's see. Ah! Okay. False alarm. It's really cold, oh my gosh. I have like sensitive skin when it comes to like temperatures. Like I can't hold really cold stuff, I don't know. Okay, cheers. Should I try with the straw first? giving me orange it's giving me like oh my god it's cold I can't hold this it's giving me like um that's a really bad idea I like try to hold it on the dinner tray but no I'm not gonna do that it's giving like um like fizzy and I said this in my last video this is why I don't really like white claws because they're just really fizzy like I don't know what it is but I feel like I can never really taste the flavor I can just always taste the fizz but I don't really get orange flavor Maybe like an orange peel. It's not bad though. But um, I would drink it. Yeah, I would drink it. <laughs> I would give it like a seven maybe. A seven out of ten. Like it's not bad, but it just doesn't really, all I can taste is fizz. Like I really don't taste a flavor. Like I just taste fizz. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good though. I don't hate it. So that's the blood orange one. I'm gonna put it back here because 
I really don't want to spill on my phone. <laughs> Y'all, I was so ready to get drunk. I didn't even read the can like I did for the last video. My apologies. I'm such a bad host. Um, I'm gonna read the can. Sorry. Cranberry, two grams of carbs, made pure, gluten-free. And it says crafted using our unique brew pure brew pure <laughs> process and only the finest flavors to deliver a surge of pure refreshment and hard seltzer like no other white claw hard seltzer made pure so yeah this is 222 calories for one can we're skinny <laughs> and um yeah 222 calories gluten-free sparkling water with a hint of cranberry so yeah let's get into the cranberry one since i already tried the orange one Cheers! Clink, 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 clink. No, this one? Wow, this one I can taste the cranberry. But I'm not the biggest fan of cranberry juice, so it's like, eh, but like, this one they got it on the head with the cranberry flavor. Like, if you love cranberry juice or like you drink it a lot or whatever, you would like this. Cause it just tastes like carbonated cranberry juice. Oh. Mm-hmm. This one has a lot more flavor than the uh, blood orange one. This one is good. Ooh, I'm gonna be drunk. I'm gonna be drunk. This one is good, you guys. The cranberry. And it feels kind of healthy too. Like, you know, cranberry like washes out your system, like detoxes you. So like, you can't tell me I'm not healthy by drinking this. Like, she's the winner. She won. Cause this is really good wow and i'm not even like a really big cranberry juice drinker like i'll drink it sometimes but like i don't go out of my way to get it you know mm. but she has flavor we love her yeah this is really good i think i like this one more than the blood orange so we have a winner <laughs> miss cranberry one blood orange she was cute you know she's like third runner-up. There's not even a second runner-up, but she's like third. This is first, you know? She's cute. White Claw, if you want to sponsor me, like, shoot me an email. I'll leave my email down below. We can collab. Like, send me all your products. <laughs> no, but if you see this at your local corner store, gas station, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever the hell you go to buy your drinks, definitely pick it up because it was pretty good. And I got mine from my corner store for two for three fifty, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. So, yeah, I'm just gonna eat some. I have some Airheads Extremes, y'all. I haven't had these in forever. It's been a minute. How many calories do you got? Two hundred twenty, just like the white claws. So we're skinny still. <laughs> no, I haven't had these ones in forever. Oh, these bring me back to like middle school. I remember being in middle school. Like I had to go to school super early when I was in middle school because my mom had to go to work so like I'll get dropped off at my school at like 6 a.m. and school didn't start till 8 so I remember just like waiting outside and like there would be a there was a um, Dollar General like across the street from my middle school and I remember whenever they opened probably at, like 7 or whatever I would go over there and just buy like hella snacks and they used to have these for like hella cheap like a dollar or something I don't know mm. but I used to buy these every day that was really bad <laughs> but I did mm. Mm-hmm. That's what these remind me of, my childhood. <laughs> I'm not only drinking one white claw, I'm drinking two white claws because I'm a girl. Per, as I should. As I should, do you know what I mean? No, but... <laughs> Y'all, isn't it crazy how, like, if you were born after, like, 2000, how much your life... I was realizing this the other day, like, how much I grew up on the internet, like, how much of my personality reflects around, like, TikTok and, like, Instagram like Twitter I don't have Twitter anymore but like I used to how much of like our personalities reflect around social media because like literally my whole personality can be like a TikTok account like <laughs> no for real like I literally would probably have no personality if it was not for social media but yeah this, that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> I'm out here like roasting myself like yeah I would have no personality no, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>